What's up, YouTube and what you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Emerald, our insanely randomized Nuzlocke, episode 42. As we said yesterday, oh my gosh, this is taking forever to get through this. In the last episode, as you can tell on the screen, the storyline has begun. We were in Seafloor Cavern and we met Kyogre and Archie, uh, and um, a new member of our team died. If you want to check out that episode, click the i-card just above me before we get started. In today's episode, we head to Sutopolis City and we take on the story. So if you're excited for another episode of Pokemon Emerald, make sure you hit that like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new, of course. We're on the push to 251. We've hit a road, we've hit a wall. I'm not even sure why, but it's okay. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. And make sure you answer the question of the day below, which is going to be, which Pokemon game, main series game, had, um, yeah. Which main series Pokemon game has your favorite storyline? So we're in the we're in the heat of the story today, uh, yesterday and today in this game. So I'm curious, what's your favorite storyline of all the Pokemon? <sighs> so let's go ahead and jump in. First up, let's start off with the team recap. Ignore the dead person in front. We have Sonom, our fighting type, Latios. We have Kajitan, our dragon type, Altaria. Linnea, our fighting water type, Ninetales. Oscar, our fire type, Sceptile. Helen, our dark type, Chansey. And that is it for now. <laughs> Which... Alright, let me think. Now, if I fly to Sutopolis, do I break stuff? Yes, I break stuff. Get him, get him, get him, guy, uh, get him, Groudon. Goodness gracious, forgot the name. Get him, hit him with the one, two, and the boop, boop. <laughs> okay, please say something relevant. Okay, good. I was concerned. All right. Wait. You know what? Can't be a legendary and be on the team. Delma, I knew you were gonna die. But the way you died, oh, oh. Seeing Jim there makes me so sad. I'm not even sad about Delma anymore. And Tanashi and Rustlin, these three, and Godwine, and Ale? And don't, let's not even start on Rohan. Gosh. Okay. So what's the plan? Matilde. Matilde. Are you any good? Ice type liquid ooze with adamant? But ice is special. You know what? At this point, until I have time for a grinding montage of the highest caliber, I don't even, I don't think we're battling anything right now. I'm trying to pull an Ash from the first movie. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here, it's the Red Orb! Calm down, Kyogre! It's no good, it's not responding at all. Uh, Groudon, please stop what you're doing. I know the extent of your power now. If you keep going, all of Hoenn, not just Zootopolis, will be utterly ruined. Ah, uh, they're super tiny, dude. I don't think they're gonna hurt anything. Just being honest. Alright, we go. Those Pokemon fighting. Groudon and Kyogre, the two super ancient Pokemon, were awakened from a long sleep. 
and now they are smashing each other with the uncontrollable with their uncontrollable energy. Domino, you being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well then, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Woo! Don't forget in the in the comments below, answer what your favorite storyline is. So, do you like um? Let's see, Team Rocket. What did Team Rocket even do in red, blue, and yellow? Nothing? Took over Sylphco? Okay, well, in second gen, Team Rocket, like, did their Lake of Rage thing, and then the broadcast... Once you watch the manga, you realize, or once you read the manga, you realize how lame these teams are. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, Domino, does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think that Pokemon are to be feared? That's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you? Because you already know. Steven, stop acting weird. Like, it's raining. Why are we talking out in the rain? Steven, it's really hot. Why are we talking out in the sun? I just... Steven, it's raining. Okay. Okay, here we are. Inside you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. You know what else is in here? You know what else is in here? Linnea! Use your help. Actually, pro probably could use Helen's help. Please be something to help us! Admittedly, that would help us. Admittedly, that would help us. Should we have two? Should we get two Sonoms? Alright. Okay, hold on. That's not good. It is a snow runt. I'm not upset. I'm not upset, but it's like, when does it evolve? Because if it evolves soon, then that could be cool. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, we already have a name that's very close to that. We have Snowrun, these snow hat Pokemon. They tend to move about in groups of around five Snowrun. In snowy regions, it is said that when they are seen late at night, snowfall will arrive by morning. Alright, we have... Lies Lot, the snow runt. Alright, Mr. Lies Lot, Mrs. Lies Lot, your ice fire with water absorbed naive nature. That matter much? What moves do you have? Twister, mud slap, water spout, charge. What level? What level does Snow Runt evolve? That's not what I said. Here's what I found on the web for what level does Snow Runt evolve. Hey, shut up. Uh, okay, what? Level 42. Alright, well. In that case, we will put you on the need to evolve list. Please don't tell me I should have just came in here and caught something amazing. Okay, good, thanks. Just kidding. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, got it. Ah, so you are Domino. I've heard of you. My name is Wallace. 
I was once the gym leader of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor, Juan, with the gym's operations. Groudon and Kyogre are the two Pokemon wrecking havoc here and are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But they aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. Yeah, he died in the last episode. It's said that it was Rayquaza that become the two combatants distant past. No, because if Kyogre used, like, Water Gun, he would have died. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. Domino, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. Uh, here, it's in the Cave of Origin. Cave of Origin? That's right here. I need you to do better than that. Please, I need you to think about where Rayquaza might be right now. He's probably at Mount Pyre. Mount Pyre? But when I met the old lady there earlier, she made no mention of it. I very much doubt that the old lady would try to hide something from me. Domino, could you think about this more carefully for me? I really just have no idea why. Huh? You don't remember. <laughs> Can't you remember somehow? Alright, Game Freak. Sky Pillar? That's it! It must be the Sky Pillar. Domino, there's not a moment to you lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. Take me with you! Very weird that there's no sound in here. I like how he just couldn't take me with him. Like, all I'm asking is for a ride. Call your frickin' Milotic. Sky Pillar, I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. Alright, y'all are dumb. And I ain't playing no games. We're already 42 episodes in. We're heading straight there. TM39. What is that? Wait! Alright, so... Bone Club. Who's in front? Linnea? Uh, let's let Kaji time go. I forgot that I haven't trained against these Double surf it up! Alright, I forgot that I need to avoid. I do not normally avoid. That is weird. When did I start avoiding trainers? <gasps> he tricked me! Superpower. Heracross. This is the strongest Heracross I've ever met. Okay, if that Heracross lived that Thunderbolt, it was going to be Operation Catch a... Uh, Operation Catch a Heracross. Oh, you know what? We have another encounter. Crap. Do I need a bike? There's a strong chance that I need a different bike right now. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I'd left you. You know what, Wallace? Just wait. Just wait. There will come a day that I make you pay. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. Domino, let's be on our way. It's an earthquake! It's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Domino, Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Sutopolis. I've got to go back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. Why would that happen? Why would he need to go back when Steven Stone is there? Do I need a bike? I feel like I need a bike. But I have an encounter. 
Please be something that can help. I mean, you're not something that can't help. I don't know if you, I don't know if you exactly can help, but you certainly won't like just not help. Or so let's go ahead and change settings. We have caught ourselves a Goralith. We have Growlithe the Puppy Pokemon. Its superb sense of smell ensures that this Pokemon won't forget any scent, no matter what. It uses its sense of smell to, de to detect the emotions of others. My body is like, shutting down right now. This name does not fit. If you ask me. We have Sandeep the Growlithe. Grass type with damp. Holding a repel. <laughs> Bone club, charge, hyperfang, and tackle. Well, we have another for the evolved list. Okay. Gotcha. So we don't need the bike now. Okay, I see. That's its way of, like, telling us, like, hey, just so you know, the next time you come up here, you're gonna need a bike. Also, now that I have access to this place, this is much better grinding. So maybe the next grinding montage, I'll actually be able to do stuff. Over here? Oh, he's in the middle? Okay, well, let's press fly, and let's go ahead and do this. I, the first time I saw this scene, it was amazing. I still remember seeing this for the first time. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, nah, we still got a few minutes left. Let's just talk to everybody. I don't think we're gonna do too much more than that. Arr! Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I honestly don't remember if I'm supposed to go back to Mount Pine. Let's find out. And then we'll call it an episode. Did we even do any battles in today's episode? I don't think we did. Huh. That was very anticlimactic. So, our question of the day, we were talking about the, uh, which game had your favorite story. We talked about Team Rocket didn't really do anything. Um, they were just kind of like bad guys, which I guess is good. Domino. Two men who took the orbs came back to return them on their own. Those men, perhaps they're not so evil after all. It is my role to pass on the le- Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in their voice. It is my role to pass on the legends of Hoenn to future generations. And the crisis that just ended in Sutopolis rewrote the legend. Having the time to hear the new legend of Hoenn? It happened long, long ago. The world was wrecked by a ferocious clash, but by a ferocious clash between the Pokemon of the land and the Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive fires and vicious storms. It was then that a Pokemon of the sky descended from a storm. The Pokemon, shining a vivid green, he calmed the two enraged Pokemon. Then, its duty gone, the green Pokemon flew off into the blue wild and young. Wild blue. I can't read. All right. Let's fly back to Sutopolis City. Let's save the game. And then I do I want to finish up what we were saying. So, like, this story seemed very anticlimactic, right? Kyogre versus Groudon. Rayquaza comes up, says, hey, go away. And then the two teams just leave. And they're just done. And Diamond Pearl Platinum, isn't that Team Galat? No, that's Team Plasma. Diamond Pearl. So that's Dialga versus Palkia. And then, like, Giratina shows up, right? Yes, that's right. So that story, like, involves the distortion world, and Cyrus is a nutcase, and Cynthia is there, so that just makes everything better. And black, white, something about gets this and N, and blah, blah, blah. And XY, um, Team Flair is trying to make the world more stylish, right? And Lysander's literally trying to take over the whole world. Like, that's what a bad guy it does. And then Gen 7, I don't think we know anything about the story of Gen 7. I think Team Skull and Aether Paradise are jokes for what we're about to get next month. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Pokemon Emerald. If you did enjoy and you're continuing to enjoy this extremely long series, make sure you hit the like button down below and comment which of your favorite Pokemon, what's your favorite story from each of the or from all of the main series Pokemon games, goodness gracious! And we'll be back tomorrow if we get another episode of Pokemon Emerald. But until then, have a blessed day.